Thanks very much, Greg. And uh, I'd like to take a second, because I'm not going to need all seven minutes to thank the backstage crew who's putting all the technology together and making sure that we have a smooth running event. Um, everybody in this room pays bills, presumably, unless you're on the run. I hope you do. Uh, and you do it in one of two ways. Some of you use the bill pay system that your bank provides for you at least some of the time. More of you actually go to five or six different websites, enter your card information, and pay there. It's often a combination. It's rarely just one, but more are shifting to cards because they get immediate credit for making the payment, they get up-to-date information on how much is due and when it's due, and they get to use the card that they want that gets points and it's connected to the same checking account anyway if they're using a debit card. Bill pay is good for the people who use it because it aggregates all their payee relationships in one place, but it lacks those things. It lacks immediacy. Great solution design, thanks for the head nod, by the way. Great solution design lives at the intersection of what customers need and what businesses need. What banks and credit unions need to justify improvement in the bill pay experience is a better economic package. Right now, bill pay is pure cost, and it's difficult to justify, particularly in a retail environment. Today, we're announcing Q2 Biller Direct. This is a solution that solves for both of those things, that brings together the best of what bill pay does and the best of what card payments with your merchants do in one package. So, what does this next-gen solution look like? We're going to jump right into it. It does three things. First, it's going to put all your bills in one place. This is the most valuable part of what bill pay does today. I can organize my life. I can get a sense of my cash flow. The second thing we're going to do is we're going to instantly pay bills with a card. If we can, we're going to deliver the payment via a real-time or near-real-time payment mechanism that allows the, inter the financial institution who issues the card to generate interchange revenue. This is crucial to the economic story. And third, we're going to deliver up-to-date information so people can stay on top of their payments. Uh, we've all had this experience, I think we've all, anybody who use bill pay, uses bill pay today has, where we make a payment on like a car or something on the day that it's due, and five days later we get an automated phone call telling us that our payment is late, but that we should disregard the call if we already made the payment. We don't have to do that anymore. So I'm going to go ahead and add a payment. I'm going to add my utility bill. I'm going to put in my login name, and I'm going to hide my password. And this is verifying my credentials with Duke Energy. Now, while, I, while that verifies, I want to go ahead and set that up. Utilities are fairly large. I want to know when this is going out because I want to get my eyes on the utility bill. So I'm going to go ahead and pay this manually. But I do want to use my credit card as an alternative to my checking account because I want it to post immediately. So I'm done with this. And now I'm getting taken to the main screen. This is the main merchant screen. Now what are we doing again? It's very similar to bill pay because it's showing my payment relationships in one place. I can see what's due. I can see things that are not in bill pay today, like subscriptions, Netflix. A lot of us are subscribing now to groceries, diapers, vitamins, et cetera, from Amazon, Hulu. But I can see what's due instead of how much I paid last time. I can see when it's due instead of when I paid the bill last time. And because of that, I can form a picture of my cash flow over the next few weeks. This is a pretty light week. I've got Netflix and Hulu going out. And I've got this Time Warner bill. And since it's due on the 8th, and today, today, I'm due on the 10th, and today's the 8th, I think I want to pay that now. And I'm going to go ahead and use my credit card. And this is manually scheduled. And I think I'm going to go ahead and automatically do this in the future. But I'm going to go ahead and pay this now. And I will get an alert when that payment posts. Now, T-Mobile, not due until the 13th. I'm going to set that one up automatically, but I'm glad I know that it's coming. And Duke Energy, we already set that one up. Next week's going to be a heavy-duty week. It might be a good idea, if it's available, uh, with that to change that to my debit card. And I will get the points from it. It will post when it's due. And it's not going to go into my bank account because I don't want to go upside down. Now, that's pretty much it. What we're trying to do is build a simple solution that people can use, and we're trying to deploy it in two different ways. So the product that you see here is available as a solution that we can inject into virtually any online banking, any mobile banking app, or really any app that, like a fintech who delivers a card could deliver. But if you don't like what we've built, or you think you could improve upon it, we invite you to do that, which is why we're exposing the API that drives this as well, so that you could take this product and enhance it, 
You could build a completely separate skin or you could connect this functionality to a conversational AI or some other channel that you want to make available in the system. So, like I said, I wouldn't need the whole five minutes. I'm Ron McDaniel, we're Q2, this was Biller Direct. We'll be at the booth. Thanks again to the buys in the backstage. Have two minutes back. Appreciate your time. Thank you.